My name is Karina Grader. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. When I was younger and for my whole life, I've been in love with animals, which is funny now because I don't study them. I study inanimate objects. While we're on the boat, we pass an iceberg. In that iceberg, you can see the different shades of blue from the different types of water and snow that have formed that glacier that then calved off into the ocean and made this iceberg. What I love about studying earth sciences is that when I'm outside just exploring by myself, I can see in my mind the processes that went into making these things. It's hard to understand just how huge the Greenland ice sheet is. When you're out there, it's just ice extending forever in every direction. So in comparison to that, a small ice core the size of a dinner plate doesn't seem very representative. But by taking a bunch of these different ice cores in different places, we can connect the dots. Combining that with radar or satellite or the models, we can use the ice cores to understand broader trends across the whole ice sheet. The Greenland ice sheet isn't one chunk of stable ice. There are all sorts of dynamic processes happening all the time. There can be melting, there can be changes in the amount of snow falling, the wind can blow the snow all around, and some of the snow on the surface may melt and it could percolate down through the snowpack and refreeze or it may run off the ice sheet into the ocean. With climate change, it's really important to understand what's happening with the meltwater, whether it's going to stay within the ice sheet and refreeze, or if it's going to run off and contribute to sea level rise. For me, one of the most fascinating parts of nature is that it isn't stagnant, that it's always changing. And so in the future, I know I will always be inspired and fascinated by how that change is happening. That's why I know I'll always love nature.